Hello lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be learning the easiest method to cut a palazzo pant. A female pant, this particular one on the thumbnail. To my thumbnail subscribers, thank you so much and I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chamaka. On this channel, I share sewing tutorials, sewing tips and tricks, DIY and lifestyle videos around sewing niche. Please do well to subscribe and hit on the bell notification to get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you. So I folded my fabric into two. I removed about half inch on the pop upper part as a margin line so from there i remove 1.5 inch for my band i marked my hip line 10 inches i marked my cross line 12 inches then i'll go ahead and mark my foot length trouser and then add 1.5 inch for helming so i'll be focusing my camera on this upper part because basically from the new to the bottom is basically the same thing so we need to understand the focus on the upper part more so um the wideness of the fabric of fold is lap measurement divided by two plus one inch so the lap measurement divided by two is 15 plus one inch is 16 inches it's 16 inches so from there at the side i'll be removing the one inch so Sorry, I'll be removing the one inch. So from that one inch, that's where our all our measurements will be starting from. All the measurements that will be taken, that is where it will be starting from. So this is it. So at the hip line, I will divide my hip by four and place the what I got from there to uh, at the hip line then at the waistline I removed half inch from it and mark then at the cross line I will mark what I got the hip line divide by four at the cross line then I'll connect the three points together so that cross line that's what we'll be taking our lap measurements then between the cross line and hip line, I'll come up by one inch. Could you help me to direct how to curve the cross line? You see it? I'll curve it like this to touch the hip line. So this is it. So I'll go ahead and divide my waist by four. From that cross line, I will mark the waist the waist measurement so I'll go ahead and extend the a cross line and the hip line to the towards the middle so I'll curve it like this from the hip line curve it to the waistline curve it so I'll be dividing that cross that um, lap measurement by two again. Kish should not give me Kish gave me seven seven point five. So I'll be transferring that to the bottom of the trouser. No worry, I will show you the damp part of the trouser. As I said earlier, from the new to the bottom of the trouser is the same thing, the same measurement. So I will go ahead and connect the points together with a straight line. So this is it. The next thing I will do is to determine my new measurement from the waist to the nail, which is 23 inches. So remember that we are removing 1.5 inch at the upper part though. So my lap, my new measure circumference is 20 inches is 20 inch divided by 2 is 10 inch so i'm marking 5 inch from the other side mark 5 inch from the at the right and the left sides then i'll be transferring that 5 5 inch to the bottom of the trouser i hope you understand and then i'll mark a straight line so after making a straight line i'll curve it now curve it to down up to the second line so curve it like this and then curve the other part like this please if you know that you are not good with free hand please do what to use your ruler and your french curve and all that if you know that you are not good with free hand 
don't go and join me oh <laughs> i'm using free hand so this is the damn part of the trouser this is how it looks this is it so at the upper part that crotch side i'll go down by one inch from that i'll imagine hope you yeah, hope you are seeing it i'll go down by one inch and then i'll connect it to the to the side like this you can see it then i'll go ahead and come up by half inch for sewing allowance because i'll be attaching a waistband to it for sewing and uh, attaching it to the waistband that is the sewing allowance i'm talking about so after that i'll go ahead and cut it off look at the side i'm cutting off So this is it so at the side i'll be adding one inch to you down one inch to down for sewing allowance for sewing allowance I'll cut it off so this is basically for the front so I'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two again then I'll place the front piece on the fabric i'll place the front piece so at the cross side at the waistline i'll come up by 2.5 inch if the person doesn't if the book of the of your client is not that big you can add two inches or one at 1.5 inch so but at the side i'll be adding one and a half inch at the cross line now one and a half inch just look closely what I'm doing because we have we have we have to focus on this part now more. So on uh, that um, plate that we took our lap measurement, I'll go add by 2.75. Then, then between the crotch line and the hip line, I'll be marking two inches so that it will direct me on how to curve the back crotch. As you see me doing so i will place my tape there again to know exactly where i marked two inches this is it two inches you get i'll cover it clean the first line cover it this is my new line i'll cover it so at the inner part of the leg i'll be marking 1.5 inches Marking 1.5 inches down to the bottom of the trouser. So, if you watch this point, please do well to subscribe. Support your girl by subscribing. Please subscribe, support this channel, and turn the bell notification because I'll be posting the easiest method to sew these pants by weekend, and I don't want you to miss the video. Thank you. So this is it. So for the side, the side is basically the same thing. So this is the damn part of the trouser. I'll cut it like this. So this is the trouser. I'll go ahead and cut it off.
so this is it so tell me what to think about this video in the comment section and do well to like share and subscribe if you have not see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye